Hey guys, welcome to a new show which called Every Effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. Here in this show, I will teach you each and every effect that you can use in Adobe Premiere Pro. Today, we are going to talk about Amplify effect inside the audio effects panel, right? So here, I have already recorded a clip and this is the audio clip that we are going to use for this demonstration. And I will, of course, put a link in the description below so that you can download this clip and you can follow along with me. So be sure to check the description, right? So first, let's see how we can go to effects panel, right? So if you go to window, then you will see effects. If you click here, then this panel will appear. This is called the effects panel. And from here, you can drag and drop any effect that is suitable for your video or audio very easily, right? So today we are going to learn this one, which is amplitude and compression. And here you will see the first effect, which called amplify. So by this name, you can easily understand what this effect will do right so if i just click and drag it here that effect will be applied on my audio clip right please be noted this is audio only effect so you will not able to use this effect on single video you have to use this effect on top of any audio clip right so if i just show you if i just go here and there is a video i am just importing this portion of my video right I'll not import the audio. I'll just import the video here on the timeline. If I want to apply amplify effect here, it will not work, right? Just by clicking here, you can see the effect is not applying on this clip, right? But alternatively, if I just click and drag the video and audio together from here, now I can use this amplify effect to amplify my audio volume, right? I'm just deleting this one. So this is our test clip and here we have already applied the amplify effect. If you go here, which called effects control panel, you can control the effect. If I go to window and then if I enable effects control panel, you will see this panel will appear here. By the way, I'm using essential workspace. So if you don't see the panel is looking like me, you can just click here, which is essential and then you can modify your workspace. I have already made a video how you can modify workspace you can watch that video first right if i go here there are several options that you can tweak to edit the amplify of course the purpose of this effect is to amplify your audio volume right so if you want to increase the volume of your audio you can just go here and then click edit then this panel will appear if i just play it back hey, what is it, guys? the is volume is a little bit low if i just click and drag it today we're going to learn how you can use amplify it. you can see i can increase the volume so intentionally, I have imported a audio clip, which is not perfect, right? You can see here on this channel, which is the left channel, the audio is looking great, but on the right channel, there are some static noise. So there is no purpose to increase the volume of my static noise. So what I can do, there is a button which called link slider. If I enable it, if I just decrease the volume or increase the volume, it will decrease and increase the volume of both channel which is left and right but if i deselect this link slider button and then i can independently change the level of my left and right channel right so what i can do again i'm going to the starting point and then if i play it back and decrease the right channel hey what is up guys this is james Salm. welcome to another adobe and adjust the today we're going to channel. learn how you can use amplify effect in adobe premiere pro so i can adjust the left channel to my tzr volume so that it sounds great right but so what is up guys that this is the final Welcome. result so we have muted the right channel and we have increased the volume of left channel again there are some options that you can use which is switch to channel map editor if you click here and here you can remap your effect right alternatively you can click here on this remap section then this panel will appear and here you can remap the effects right so you can see there are two different options one is effects input and this section is effect output so if you select the left channel here the effect of left channel will apply which is the volume that we have adjusted and then what do you want to do i am just selecting left channel then it will output the edited left channel volume to our left channel if i select right channel see it is not outputting anything right again you can select the right channel and from here you can select the left channel then the audio from the left channel will appear on the 
right channel right if i play it back what is up guys this you is can see the Welcome channel have been changed if i select to right and then if i select to left what's up guys this is james and welcome to the audio is playing on the left channel good. if i select left well today we're going to learn how you can use the right channel yeah. so that is the thing that you can tweak from here which is remap i don't use that a lot if i want to change the audio from left channel to right channel i just use another effect which called fill left with right or fill right with left so that's the thing that you can do from this effects panel and again you can go to here individual parameter you can change the volume from here also you can tweak the volume from this section and of course you can add keyframe to this section too alternatively there is better option to increase the volume of your audio which is if you just click here just double click then the track will increase in size you can just press alt or option then you can scroll the mouse wheel it will increase the size a lot then you see there is a line this is our volume line if we click and drag it in the upper section it will increase the volume this of guys and if we pull the line towards the bottom section it will decrease the volume right so james alum welcome to here you can see the volume have been decreased right we're going to learn how you can use so that is a better practice to do whenever you want to increase the volume and again you can add keyframe by pressing control or command and then it will add a keyframe if you click here then if i just go here i can add another keyframe then i can just pull this section to decrease the volume of this section right or i can just click and drag it here to decrease the distance between this to give them if i play it back this is james alum welcome to another adobe you can see the volume is increasing here so that's it that is how you can use amplify effect in adobe premiere pro to increase the volume of your audio i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one and then goodbye